Hey guys, here's the solutions to the first uh, six problems. So we have linear inequalities in one variable, and we have to consider whether we have and or or in the problems. Um, I'm just gonna walk through the solutions. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out on Slack uh, or just send me a message. So here for the first inequality in order to solve for x, we can add the four to the left-hand side so 26 plus 4 would give us 30 is less than or equal to 5x. And then I can divide both sides by 5 to get 6 is less than or equal to x. For the other one, we can add the 4 to the left-hand side. So 41 plus 4 would give us 45 is greater than or equal to 5x. And similarly, in order to get x by itself, we can divide both sides by 5, giving us 9 is greater than or equal to x. Now it's a lot easier to graph uh, if the variable's on the left-hand side. So I can just move the x to the left, move the six to the right, and when I do, I have to change the direction of the inequality. So a couple people are having trouble with this. Uh, you can think of it as the following. Six is less than the number 10, but if I write the number 10 first and I write the six second, I have to change the direction of the inequality. It, it cannot stay the same. So 6 cannot be less than 10 at the same time being greater than 10. That doesn't make sense. So if we're just rearranging terms, then it just, you can do that. If 6 is less than 10, then 10 must be greater than 6. If I am taller than my sister, then my sister has to be shorter than I am. So that's all I'm doing here. Nothing's being divided. I'm just rearranging the terms so that they're easy to graph. And this would be x is less than or equal to 9. I put 6 on my graph, I put 9 on the graph. If the x is on the left-hand side, the arrow points in the direction of the inequality. So in this case, the arrow is going to go to the right. In this case, the arrow is going to go to the left. So in both cases, we will have solid dots because it's greater than or equal to or less than or equal to. We're moving to the right from 6. We're moving to the left from 9. Because this is an AND problem, I'm being asked where is the sandwich or where is the overlap. The overlap is right here. That's where the two lines are on top of each other. So the interval would be 6 comma 9 with brackets around both sides. For the next one, uh, it's actually the same exact problem. All I did was change the word AND to OR. So I'm not going to do this again. I'm just going to copy this. and put this here, but the graph is going to be read differently. So six to the right, nine to the left. Because this is an or problem, we're asking where are we cover or? So where do we have coverage from the rain? Well, if there's rain falling all over the place, I'm protected everywhere. I can walk from the left side to the right side without getting wet. So my interval would be negative infinity to infinity. That's where I'm covered or protected from the rain. For the third one, same thing as the first two. Subtract the, the 8 first. So 26 minus 8 is 18. 18 is greater than 2x. In order to solve for x, we divide both sides by 2. So that gives us 9 is greater than x. And we can rearrange it so that the x is on the left-hand side and write x is less than 9. For the inequality on the right, we can subtract the 8, so that gives us 2x is less than or equal to 22. 30 minus 8 is 22. Uh, we divide both sides by 2 to get rid of that 2. That gives us x is less than or equal to 11. And since the x is already on the left-hand side, I don't have to rearrange anything. I don't have to reorder the way things are written. It's already on the left. So here... Is my number line, here's the number 9, here's the number 11. So 9 gets an open circle moving to the left. 11 gets a closed circle moving to the left as well. Because this is an AND problem, we're looking for where is the overlap? Where are the two lines on top of each other? So a lot of people in class wrote 9 comma 11 just because I actually don't know why they wrote that. Uh, maybe people are thinking that the and will always be, you know, the number 
uh, the numbers between the two numbers. That's not the case. So this is actually wrong. You always look at the picture. The overlap is here. And it starts at 9 and it moves to the left. So what's the leftmost solution on the number line? Negative infinity. What's the rightmost solution? It's the number 9. But at 9, there's an open circle there. So there isn't an overlap at 9. So we use parentheses. Now, if this had been filled in, like if it had been like this moving to the left, then you would have a bracket on 9 because that's where there is an overlap. Hopefully that makes sense. Next one, sub, uh, instead of subtracting the 8, we add it to the other side. So that gives us 4 is less than negative 2x. Because the negative 2 is negative, when I divide it over to the other side, the inequality has to change direction. So instead of it being less than, it's going to change into a greater than. So 4 is over negative 2 is going to be greater than negative 2x over negative 2. Because I'm dividing both sides by a negative, I have to change the less than to a greater than. So this will be negative 2 is greater than x. And I can move the x to the left-hand side because that's where I prefer to have it. So I can rearrange this to say x is less than negative 2. For the other one, same thing. Add the 8. So negative 26 plus 8 is negative 18 is greater than negative 2x. Again, just like the thing on the left, we have to divide both sides by negative 2. When we do that, we'll get 9 is less than x. Oh, I forgot to rearrange this. So x is greater than 9. So we have negative 2 on the left. We have 9 on the right. x is greater than 9 means the arrow goes to the right. x is less than negative 2 means the arrow goes to the left. This is an AND problem, so we're looking for an overlap or a sandwich. And looking at this picture, there isn't anywhere where the lines are on top of each other. They don't overlap anywhere, so no solution. There isn't a number that will satisfy this inequality and this inequality. It has to satisfy both for an AND. Um, I can't find any of them. Uh, next one, same idea. Isolate the x, so move the negative 6 over. We'll get negative 5x is less than negative 10, because when we move it over, it becomes positive. Negative 16 plus 6 would be negative 10. Divide both sides by negative 5. Because we're dividing by a negative, changes direction for the inequality, and you get that. x is already on the left, so I don't have to rearrange anything. Here, same idea. Add the 6 to the other side, which will give us, uh, what is it, negative 35 is less than or equal to negative 5x. To get x by itself, we have to get rid of the negative 5. So we divide it to both sides. Because we're dividing both sides by a negative, we must change the direction of the inequality. So this will give us 7 is greater than or equal to x. Rearrange this so that the x is on the left-hand side, and it will be x is less than or equal to 7. So here, 2, 7, open circle at 2 going to the right, uh, close circle at 7 going to the left. This is an OR problem, so we're asking where are we covered or covered from the rain. So there's rain falling all over, well, I'm covered everywhere. I have coverage of the entire number line, nothing is uncovered. So the solution in interval notation would be negative infinity to infinity. For the last one, uh, at least in problem 1, add the 9. 20 is greater than or equal to negative 4x. To solve for x, we divide both sides by negative 4. So that gives us negative 5 is less than or equal to x. Uh, the inequality is changing direction because I'm dividing both sides by negative 4. Since it's a negative, the inequality changes direction. Here, I'm just going to rearrange it so that the x is on the left. So we get x is greater than or equal to negative 5. Add the 9. So negative uh, 21 plus 9 would be negative 12 is less than or equal to negative 4x. To solve for x, we divide both sides by negative 4. So that gives me 3. But since we divided by a negative, change the direction of the inequality. 
yet 3 is greater than or equal to x. I want the x on the left-hand side, so I rearrange it and write it as such. And now, negative 5, 3, greater than or equal to negative 5 means we go to the right. Less than or equal to 3 means we go to the left. And then this is an or problem. So if it's raining all over the place, we are covered everywhere again, just like the previous question. So here, interval was negative infinity to infinity as well. I'll do the other four problems in the second video.